Imagine a world shrouded in glaciers, mammoths roaming the plains, and humans unlike any we've seen before. This was the world of the Paleo-Indians, the earliest known inhabitants of North America. These brave souls ventured into the continent approximately 13,500 years ago, stepping foot on a landscape vastly different from the one we know today. Their journey likely started in present-day Siberia, crossing a land bridge known as Beringia. This bridge, now submerged beneath the waters of the Bering Strait, once connected Asia and North America, providing a path for people, plants, and animals to migrate across continents. The Paleo-Indians, however, weren't mere travelers or explorers. They were settlers, pioneers, the first to call this land their home. Their arrival marked the beginning of human habitation in North America, and they laid the groundwork for the diverse cultures that would follow. Over the centuries, these Paleo-Indians spread across the continent, giving rise to various distinct cultures and tribes. From the Inuit in the frozen north, to the Aztecs in the tropical south, all Native American populations can trace their lineage back to these first Americans. The Paleo-Indians' journey was not just a trek across icy landscapes, it was a journey through time, one that transformed a continent and shaped the history of an entire hemisphere. They weren't just visitors, they were the ancestors of all Native American populations. The environment these early Americans faced was harsh. Enormous glaciers blanketed the continent, turning what we now know as North America into a vast, icy wilderness. The cold was relentless, the landscape was unforgiving, and survival was a daily battle. Yet, the Paleo-Indians were nothing if not resilient. They were survivors, braving the bitter cold of the Ice Age and adapting to a world that was constantly changing beneath their feet. As the glaciers advanced and retreated, they followed the rhythm of the ice, moving with the seasons and making a life on the edge of the impossible. But it wasn't just the cold they had to contend with. This was a time of giants, when massive creatures like mammoths, mastodons, and giant bison roamed the land. These beasts were not only a source of food for the Paleo-Indians, but also a significant challenge. Hunting them required skill, bravery, and the right tools. And the Paleo-Indians had the tools for the job. They are known for their distinctive stone spearheads, known as Clovis Points, named after the place in New Mexico where they were first discovered. These spearheads were expertly crafted, fluted to allow for easier attachment to a spear shaft, and razor sharp. With these, the Paleo-Indians could bring down even the largest of beasts. Yet these Clovis points were more than just tools. They were a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the Paleo-Indians. In a time of ice and giants, they found a way to survive and thrive, using everything at their disposal to carve out a life in the harshest of environments. The Clovis points are also a crucial piece of the puzzle for archaeologists studying this period. They are some of the most recognizable and widespread artifacts of the Paleo-Indian era, providing valuable insights into the lives and survival strategies of these early Americans. So, despite the odds, the Paleo-Indians faced the Ice Age challenge head-on. They used expertly crafted Clovis points, some of the most recognizable Paleo-Indian tools, to hunt, survive, and ultimately shape the course of human history in the Americas. But Paleo-Indians weren't just mammoth hunters. Their lives were a symphony of adaptation and survival. Yes, they hunted big game, but they also knew when to lay down their spears and pick up fishing nets. They fished in the teeming rivers and lakes, catching everything from salmon to shellfish. And when the fish weren't biting, they foraged. They knew the earth and its seasons like the back of their hand, gathering wild plants, berries, and nuts, each providing essential nutrients to their diet. This wasn't a sedentary lifestyle, though. The Paleo-Indians were always on the move, always on the lookout for the next food source or safer habitat. Their nomadic lifestyle was dictated by the seasons, the migration patterns of animals, and the availability of resources. They were the ultimate survivors, adapting to each new environment they encountered. This hunter-gatherer lifestyle made them incredibly mobile, moving from place to place, depending on the season and resource availability. Learning about the Paleo-Indians is a challenge for archaeologists. These early Americans, constantly on the move, left behind very little for us to find. They built no grand cities, no towering monuments. Their story is told through subtler clues, 
the scattered remnants of their campsites, the discarded fragments of their tools. It's a puzzle, scattered across time and space, waiting to be pieced together. Now imagine a vast, windswept plain in New Mexico, or a secluded valley in Chile. These are places like Clovis and Monteverde, archaeological sites that have provided us with invaluable insights into the Paleo-Indian way of life. Here, archaeologists have unearthed a treasure trove of artifacts, from expertly crafted tools to the butchered bones of long-extinct beasts. Every discovery, every shard of flint or fragment of bone, is a piece of the puzzle. Through meticulous excavation and analysis, we're piecing together their story through tools, butchered animal bones, and even DNA evidence. The Paleo-Indians weren't stuck in their ways. They were, in fact, a people of innovation, constantly adapting to their harsh and ever-changing surroundings. One of the most striking examples of this lies in the evolution of their tools. Early on, these nomadic hunters crafted what we now call Clovis points, large, fluted spear tips that were perfect for taking down mammoths and other big game. But as the environment changed and the Ice Age gave way to warmer climates, so did their tools. The large Clovis points were gradually replaced by smaller, more versatile blades. This wasn't a mere change of preference, it was a necessary adaptation. Smaller game became more prevalent, and these new tools were better suited to hunting and processing it. This shift in toolmaking shows us that the Paleo-Indians were not just survivors, but innovators. This suggests they were constantly innovating and improving their technology based on their needs. Speaking of Clovis, there's an ongoing debate. Were these the first people to set foot in the Americas, or were there others who beat them to it? The Clovis people, named after the place where their distinctive stone tools were first found, were once thought to be the original Paleo-Americans. But recent discoveries have thrown that idea into question. Archaeologists have unearthed tools and signs of habitation that predate the Clovis culture. These tantalizing clues suggest that there may have been an earlier wave of migration into the Americas. But who were these mysterious pre-Clovis people? Where did they come from and what became of them? These questions are at the forefront of current research. The answers could rewrite the story of the first Americans and shed new light on human migration patterns. This is the exciting part of archaeology, there's always something new to learn. The Paleo-Indians laid the foundation for all the diverse Native American cultures that would follow. These early pioneers weren't just survivors, they were innovators, adapting to an ever-changing environment and leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of the Americas. They perfected the art of hunting, developed specialized tools, and mastered the ability to live harmoniously with the natural world. Despite the harsh conditions of the Ice Age, they thrived, setting the stage for the myriad of cultures that would later blossom across North and South America. Their legacy is more than just the artifacts they left behind. It's a testament to human resilience, to our innate ability to overcome adversity and forge a path even in the most challenging circumstances. The Paleo-Indians set the first human footprints on the American continent, and their footsteps echo through the ages. Understanding their story helps us appreciate the rich history of the Americas. The legacy of the Paleo-Indians isn't just in museums. This ancient lineage is alive and thriving in the Native American populations of today. The echoes of these first Americans are all around us, subtly woven into the fabric of the Americas. Ever wondered about the origins of the names of certain places? Many derive from Native American languages preserving the linguistic heritage of the Paleo-Indians. And let's talk food. Corn, beans, squash. These staples of many diets originated from the indigenous people of America and were cultivated thousands of years ago. The spiritual beliefs of many Native American tribes also have roots in the ancient Paleo-Indian cultures with a deep reverence for nature and the elements. So you see, the Paleo-Indians are not just a chapter in history. They're a vibrant thread in the ongoing tapestry of human civilization. Place names, traditional foods, and even spiritual beliefs can be traced back to these early inhabitants. The Paleo-Indians may be gone, but their impact on North America is undeniable. Their resilience, innovation, and adaptability continue to inspire us, and their legacy lives on in the rich tapestry of Native American cultures that have shaped this continent. 
If this journey into the past has sparked your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper. There are countless archaeological sites and museums dedicated to preserving and sharing the story of the Paleo-Indians, and many are just a click away. Explore the links in the description below and immerse yourself in the world of these remarkable early Americans. And remember, history is a conversation. So let's keep it going. What did you find most surprising about the Paleo-Indians? Are there other ancient civilizations you're eager to learn about? Leave a comment below and let's keep exploring together. And don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating journeys into history.